and welcome to La Wai Candongsi. I'm Stu. And I'm Ali. Today, the show is going X-rated. Really? I thought our show has already been X-rated. No, no. It's like it's, ever. No, it's going to be triple X-rated. Ooh. Doing like five X's, like, nice. you know, like hard, hardcore. Great. This is what we're talking about today. Does size matter? Does size matter? What, what, what the hell are you talking about? Obviously, we're talking about whether you should move to a big city after graduation or a small city. Oh, okay. but, but, but when you're doing your hand with this, like uh, I think you're talking about... No, I wasn't. No, I was talking about no, cities. No. You sure? Yeah. No? Yeah. Okay, because this is my... No, no. Right. I was talking about... Cities. City sizes. Oh, big cities right. and small cities. Okay, all right, right it's fine. Today we're going to talk about whether you should move to a big city or a small city. Oh, right. Lots of people have to face this problem, or not really a problem, it's, it's like a, a choice. It's a choice. Yeah, yeah. I've faced this choice, Ali's faced this choice. I've moved to Beijing, one of the biggest cities in the world. Yes. But let's look at Ali's situation. Right. right now, you studied in Beijing. Yeah. So the decision to move to Beijing after you graduated was an easier one. Yeah, right. it is, but I still have to face the choice because I, at, upon my graduation, I need to face the choice of whether going back to my hometown Home. yeah. and or stay here in Beijing. Actually, a lot of people face the same choices, but yeah. I chose to stay here in Beijing. Because and then you, yeah, you met me. Yeah, and it's been beautiful. That's, that's one of the things that I actually regretted. I should go back to my hometown. Oh, right. Well, why do I stay? What a bomb! Yeah. Just dropped on me. Anyway, <laughs> all right. So today we're going to look at some different aspects of living mm. in a big city versus living in a small city. Right. So let's look at the first aspect. So there's a lot of opportunities in big cities, but there's also a lot of competition. Yes. So, is it worth moving to a big city for more opportunities? Yeah, definitely. Big city means more opportunities. You can have a lot of different jobs. Right. You can find it, but you cannot find the same I mean, jobs in small cities. Could you have, have entered the same industry? In Xinjiang, for example? Well, actually, I can. Actually, yeah. I can. Well, I have to be honest. Well, my hometown, Urumqi, is also known as a big city, all right? We yeah. have airport and we have three terminals. Yeah, actually, I have to say, yeah. a second tier city in China yeah, it's also is as competitive <laughs> yeah. as a first tier city, to yes, be honest. Yes, yes. But again, Beijing is like largest. Well, Shanghai, maybe yeah. I don't know competition over there. Uh, it means lots of opportunity. Just think about just think about the Wai Mai and the Kuai Di. Yeah, right. How many jobs that's exactly. offer, right? Yeah. And also, uh, if you want to work in such things like media, mm. uh, like entertainment business, like I mean, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Beijing would be the place to be. However, yes. if you wanted to work, if you're, uh, for example, if you're an engineer, yeah, and you need to work on an oil field. Obviously, <laughs> yes, of course, this isn't gonna. the best place, right? Oh, so, yeah, it's true, right? Um, so it really depends upon what your industry. Indeed. As to whether you need to go to a big or a small city. And I'm thinking that actually the small cities are also getting more and more competitive because uh, if you think about that, nowadays you can do a lot of things just online. Yeah, yeah. freelance. Yeah, freelance. And you can work remotely. Yeah. In fact, that's my dream to work remotely. I think. If we could film this in my bedroom. <laughs> yeah. No. no. Right. I think this is where the society is going to be in the future. Now, yeah. I mean, for the past 20 or 30 years, everyone's going to the big cities. But in the future, maybe there will be more people just going to rural areas, but still can do the same job. Yeah, in oh. fact, there's been like a reversal, hasn't there? Yes. They need, they need migrant labor to yes. come into the big cities because actually more people are staying in their own areas. Right. Because the opportunities there are getting better. Uh, yes. I However, think. if you go to Britain, yeah. everyone, I say everyone, about 80% of graduates just think London. Oh. I've got to go to London. <laughs> well, the housing price is crazy. Housing price is crazy, but that's where all the jobs are. Yes. I mean, the BBC only just moved away from London because in the past few years, because it's cheaper to go elsewhere. Oh. So that will happen eventually. Maybe it will happen here in Beijing. Yes. In in years. Right. Not now. Very soon. So yeah, there is there there are some similarities, obviously, mm. but I think. I don't know. It's up, it's, up, it's up to your personal situation. Right. Right. Well, it depends on what you want to do. Yeah, it depends mm. on what you want to do. If you mm. want to be freelance, just do it in your bedroom. Brilliant. <laughs> Film this show in your bedroom. Great. Yes. Right. So let's go to the next aspect of living in big and smaller cities and see whether size really matters. Now, obviously, when you move somewhere, you need to think about the quality of life in that place. Yes. Right? And you would usually assume that in a big city, the quality of life would be better. Ah. Uh, but is that always the case? It's not always the case, no. because if you think about that, big city means uh, like uh, more pressure. Yeah. 
and then it's crowded. Well, it's really expensive to rent a house. The yeah. food is kind of expensive. It's expensive to rent a house and buy a house. Yeah, right. It's, it's true. true. And also, just think about the subway, man. I mean, have you ever tried the subway? Six a.m. in the morning here in Beijing. I have, yes. <gasps> Although Britain's big cities yeah. they don't have subways, so that's you know. I'm sorry, not the subway, the food. I mean, the tube, the underground. Yeah, we only have one. You only have one subway? Yeah, in London. Oh, oh, other, only only other, London has. Only London. Oh our other big God. cities don't have them. What? Yeah, How yeah. do you commute then? We, I don't know. You, you don't just take the bus. <laughs> Is it crowded like here in Beijing? Yeah, it's pretty crowded,、oh. but not as crowded, obviously. Can you get pre like pregnant when you get so crowded here? Because、no. here in China we have the phrase. I'm sorry, it's just a joke that's so crowded that I almost got pregnant as a guy. <laughs> so <Yeah> . funny. <laughs> so <laughs> basically, that's all the negative part of living in a big city. Well, there's a one more negative part. Yeah.、Uh, air quality. Ah,、uh, well, yeah, but it's getting better. Obviously, obviously I mean, some、better. places like if you go to Delhi in India. That's oh like, yeah, in, in Delhi. That's a huge、really、city as well. It's a huge city, right? Yeah. And, there are、uh, some positives about well, living in big cities. Well, I think that、uh, all those so-called negative parts can be regarded as positive parts if you are a people person. I mean, some people just really like the hustle bustle of the big cities because、Or、they can meet new people. If you thrive off stress. Pressure. Yeah. Thrive pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm kind of that person. Yeah, if I, I if if it, if I don't have like stress, I would die. I will give myself all、really? the stress. Right. Now I play games, and the games can be stressful. But let's look at the positives of、yeah. living in a big city, right? As opposed to living in a small city. So right. You've already mentioned.、Mm. Songtan, you know. Yeah, you know, in the big cities in Beijing, you can stay indoor a month without going out. You can still survive. Is that good?、Uh, yeah, just for some China like me, it's、okay. really good. And、right? you have、um, you have very good services. Yes. You have public Wi-Fi in、right. a lot of places. Yeah, you have the Gongxiang Dan Che in the、yeah. big cities, right? And then also you have, I think,、uh, the big cities that you you have so many things to enjoy. You can go to、right. theater. You can go to entertainment. Right. You can watch our show. But of course, you can watch our、Let's、show anywhere. Let's go deeper, though. Yeah. You also got good infrastructure like hospitals. Yes, hospitals. Better hospitals better, in better bigger hospitals. cities. And also, I would say you can meet new people. I mean,、oh. just look, think about the Sex and City, right? Not, not us, right? So、uh, you can meet new people and、uh, you can learn from them. That's a, a huge, huge yep. thing. Yeah.、Yep. And also, you can have connections with people that you really admire. So that's why I have connection with not you but our producer, right? Right. But yeah. Okay. However, yeah, living in smaller cities, if you live like in a little water town, yes, right. The、um, the rhythm of life would be very slow, slow, but also relaxing. Yes, it is. There's something to be said about living in a smaller city. Yeah, it would. Well, it's nice. It is, and I would say the best lifestyle. Actually, one of my、uh, writer friends has it. He he spent、uh, four months in a year in the small cities, in yeah, villages, write books and enjoy life, and eight months in a big city and make money. I think that's really good. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah, I'd like to do that. We should do that. I'm、right? not talented enough. We should do more shows and so get more money and、uh, do that one day. Yeah. Not together, but yeah, just with your、oh. people, right? All right. Well, so, <laughs> well, th that was the quality of life section. Yes. I think there are pluses and minuses to both. Right. Right. Yes, in your in your opinion, are you still a big city guy? I think I'm a big city guy, but in the future, I will strive for that dream to spend some time in small cities a year and then go to big cities. Do to you make know?、Money. Do you know that people in Britain, when they're rich and they've got a lot of money, they want to move to the countryside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and they have a castle or something. Well,、right? I mean, yeah, <laughs> they they buy what they can afford, but they don't want to stay in the city.、Mm, I、yeah. think we're gonna fight for that. High five for it.、Uh, hopefully, hopefully、right. you can do it too. So let's go to the last aspect、mm. of where the size matters. Matters, yeah, and, and it's got nothing to do with that kind of size. Anyway, let's. Money, 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 money. Ah,、uh, are, are, are you finished? I'm sorry, are we finished? Yeah, yeah, stop doing this. All right. Yeah, money. That's the thing we're going to talk about. Specifically, wages. The money that you get from your job. Of course, that differs across the country. But usually, if you get a good job in a big city, basically it means that you get a high wages for sure. Yeah.、Right? So obviously, this is linked to the first yes point about opportunities, opportunities. because more opportunities usually means better wages. But、mm. also, it's linked to the second point. Yes. If you don't earn enough. Then your life will be harder, and you'll have a lower quality of life. Yeah.、And、if you're in a big city and you don't earn enough, 
it will be very difficult. Right, so money is quite important. It is important. Do and you think it's worth going to a big city in search of that big wage? Yeah, actually that's why so many people stay in big cities, because they have the impression that big cities will offer you better jobs and have a... Um, this is called opportunity cost, do you yeah, know that? Indeed, I know, yeah, I know. So if you, don't, know. if you don't get that wage, then... You sh yes, that's it. Yeah. Uh, what? But it's actually illusion. It, uh, big city doesn't guarantee you. No. Yeah, you still have to fight because think about that. So many people are fighting for the same job, yeah. and if you, everyone can do your job, then your wages must be right. Low. Yeah. So yeah. if you go to a big company, yes. um, but your skills aren't particularly great, right, and someone else can replace do, you, yeah, right. replace you, do the same skills as you, your wage won't be good, even though you're at a big company. Right. So you have to be irreplaceable. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So talking about wages too, that about yours. Yeah, they're okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Right. Okay, let me just be honest. Stu's widgets are quite low because anyone can do his job. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the entire budget of this show is on me because I'm so good. So it's on his hair. Yeah, yeah, it's on, it's my, on, hair. on my hair. No, no, just joking. Come on, come on. Man. No, no, I'm not joking. It's true, actually. <laughs> He is worth it. He is worth it. <laughs> Stop touching me. Anyway, right, so we should probably sum up yeah. and uh, make a result right. Right, about whether you should go to a big city or a small city right. after graduation. But yes. before we do that, I think we need a video to introduce this very important result related to does size matter? One, two, three, four. Oh. So, do you want to know if size matters? Let's take a look. Oh yeah, the size matter. The result? What, what were you expecting? The result? That was w weird. Not really. Anyway, so the result is live in a big city and then you can meet me and Ali. Mm. Or live in a small city mm. if that's what you want. It's up to you. Whatever, whatever you want to do, just do it. It's fine. So basically, I mean, there's just no verdict. No. Yeah, yeah, typical dude. How about you sing a song? The only thing that you're good at, the only reason why you're in this show. Okay. So this song is quite popular Ooh. right now. It's especially popular on the Yodao Dictionary app, which is why I'm going to sing it. Oh. It's nothing about being closer to Ali, right? Really? It is called Closer, though. Thank you. Mm. So baby, pull me closer in the backseat of your over there I know you can't afford Bite that tattoo on your shoulder Pull that sheet over the corner Of that mattress that you stole From your roommate back in Boulder We ain't ever getting older You can dance Ever getting older Stop dancing You can sing. We ain't never getting older. Don't sing. So baby, pull me closer. Yeah, quite nice, not it? Well done, it. you did very well in that song. No, no, what? you're definitely not going to get a job by seeing a song. All right, anyway, so in this show talking about the size matter, I mean the city. Cities. So I think the key is to know yourself. That's the biggest problem. If you are, uh, let's say, someone who loves pressure and mm -hmm. like to fight what big cities for you, but if you're someone who likes to enjoy slow pace of life, small cities for you. So the key is know yourself. Don't be a sheep. Yeah. Don't, don't follow others just Don't follow others, to but big try city. to really know yourself. Know thyself. So leave us some comments. Tell mm. us what you think. Should you move to a big city or a small city after mm. graduation? Yes. Not even graduation, maybe when you're older. Should you just move to a big city? And also, please tell us the answer of the question. Does size matter to you? Yes. Whatever size that is. Right. So city. thank you. Yeah. Right, thank you so very much. Join us every Thursday on the Yodo app, and we'll see you next week. Bye bye. bye.